welcome, Virgo, to your chakra reading for June. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your chakras <clears throat> this month. Most important chakra coming out is solar plexus chakra, talking about that intention of what it is you can do. I can do it. I want it. I can do it. <laughs> okay, so we have a holistic health. Ooh, going straight to that root chakra for vitality. Nurturing. Going straight to the root star, uh, the earth star chakra, excuse me, um, which is located six inches underneath the root chakra. So these two are actually kind of right underneath each other. It's kind of like this sits here and this sits six inches below it. And it really anchors itself to it, right? So it's really anchoring. So this is what's really keeping you grounded on the things of your survival, things that you really need for your body. And we're talking about the health over here um, and really nurturing yourself during this time, giving back to yourself or nurturing others around you who you know need um, maybe some healthy confidence and nurturing as well if you have sick ones, things like this. Um, but really pulling in that intention to get things done um, and letting go of anything that does not serve you um, meditation brings answers. So really talking about this, holest, this holistic health over here, we're really talking about, you know, taking care of business of where business needs to be done in a healthy matter. Um, whether it is your personal health, their health, someone's health, mind, body, soul health. Um, but this is also calling you to make sure that you're connecting with nature and your body and making sure that you have, you know, your everyday routines are more supportive towards your health and what makes you happy and that you're really nurturing the situation, right, about yourself, right? Even if you're taking care of someone else who is, um, you know, not healthy, you need to make sure that you're keeping yourself healthy enough for them, right? Because sometimes we struggle, especially if we have you know, loved ones that are sick, sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves. We're so busy taking care of others. Um, so make sure that you are doing so. For others of you, it could even be kicking old habits or trying new wellness routines. So really doing things like this too. Maybe you want to go to the gym, things like that. But it's saying that you can do the things you need to do. If you're trying to kick a habit, it's time to let that go, right? Really seriously kind of let it go. Um, so just make sure that you're letting go of anything that is not good for you, you know, whether you're thinking it, um, you know, however. Okay, let's see what's going on. And it's not letting go of your loved ones who need help. That's not what it is, guys. It's letting go of any kind of mental stresses um, when you are helping another person, okay? It, it's that way you can keep the healthiness upon yourself, right? So that way you're not overstressing. It's letting go of the stress and, you know, allowing yourself to intune yourself to where you need to be, right? And you have the reflection to do so with the hermit, okay? And it's bringing in different opportunities and different decisions. Um, I see that the seven of cups really on top of the hermit over here is, is kind of like, as I'm kind of perceiving and really, you know, in tuning myself and meditating, meditation brings answers, and really kind of stepping back to see kind of what's going on within the situation and how I can help or what I need to do for myself and taking care of my myself to help others or just myself, it's going to bring in a lot of decisions. Um, a lot of different kinds of things are going to go on around you um, that you're really going to want to look at. Um, and that's why the hermit is really there because it's saying, look at all the different things that are going on around you. You can rethink whatever plans you need to, you know, think of, but make sure also that you're not stressing yourself out by overthinking situations, right? That's where the letting go is coming from is that maybe you're giving yourself migraines or not being healthy because you're allowing too much stress to come into, you know, your well-being. Um, okay. Yep, really getting out there and really making new decisions, seeing other things happening around you. Okay. There is something also very intriguing and valuable going on around this situation. I just have to tell you as he's looking at his ball, there could be some kind of conversation that is coming through through maybe an Aquarius. Um, could be a love interest or someone who, you know, greatly inspires you 
um, who really wants to take you out, do things like this, wants to nurture you. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe it's time to get a little healthy in the love situation as well. Maybe you want to do this, but you're really having a hard time grabbing. Everybody's story is a little bit different. So take what resonates, what doesn't, and throw it away because you really know that if it resonates with you, you know what it is, right? There's no question to the situation. It is that is what it is. Um, you know, maybe you just need a healthier, more nurturing relationship, right? That you're really working on. Maybe you need a, res a resolution. Maybe you want to resolve some, some, you know, issues within the situation. The letting go is the ace of wands. So it says whatever you're letting go of, right, there will be a resolution. So definitely something inspiring is coming your way. Okay. Wow. You could travel. Maybe you guys need some kind of retreat or some travel together. Maybe you need to take the kids out, do something that's more healthy. Um, you know, getting yourself into a healthier spot, you know, traveling towards more healthier areas. Um, for some of you, if you, you know, if you know someone that maybe needs to go on a retreat or go to, I'm just going to say it, I heard it, rehab, you're going to help them let go. You're going to help them and you're going to use your own inspiration and your own deep desires to help someone travel to the right area. So it's, you know, that's why it's kind of saying to be careful for those of you who are helping and nurturing someone else on certain areas of your life, because it is going to take a toll on you as well. So if you're in that little area of your life, um, that is also going to, um, you know, needs to be more healthy. Um, it's going to be a lot of hard work um, for you, right? Because you're trying to maybe help someone else out. Maybe you're helping, you know, like a loved one or your husband or your wife or your child or your friend. So if you're resonating on that area, yes, really watch your own health there too. Because not only now are they struggling, but they're going to cause stress to allow you to struggle as well as you're helping them let go, helping them also, right? So make sure that you help yourself. Strong signs want to be the leader. Strong signs know that they're the ones to help someone. Strong signs are the ones, but the problem is, is it ends up taking such a toll, right, in the end. So if you can catch it before it, you know, just, I don't know, it just kind of like, you know what I mean? Just drains, drains you, right? Because you just keep going and going and going until you're just drained and you just feel like you can't go anymore, right? Because it's taking everything out of you. But you'll push and push and push until there's nothing left to push, right? Because you want to make sure that that is done, right? No matter what it is. Okay, so what it's trying to say is just be sure whatever you're pushing on to make sure that you're in an understanding with yourself that yes, this can be done, but watch your health. And I see that not all signs are super strong, but when these super strong signs come out and say, this is the way it's going to be, then we have to be careful, right? The helpers of the world. I just have to do this. I, you know, I, the love is there. I got, I got, I got to do this. Right. And it's just, it's one of those things. And I see it in this side is kind of like, you know, whether, like I said, I don't care who it's, I don't care if it's for you, for them, because in the end it is for you. Because this, you know, it is for you because you love. I see a lot of love. I see all the cups. Even the Nine of Pentacles has her own love and beauty. She wants to help people, you know. Yes, she's single, you know, and she does what she wants to do. But when you have it next to these other cards, it's saying, yeah, I might be single and I might be doing what I want. But it's more of a... Don't tell me what, don't tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you. <laughs> don't tell me. That's how that card's being looked at, right? Because it's next to those, it's next to that ace of wands. So it's saying, I don't care. You know, I'm going to, I'm taking action. So you're putting yourself into that area to take a lot of action. So very wonderful, my friends. It's a very affectionate thing going on over here with the nurturing. So, and, you know, just be careful because there's, you know, I see the intensity as well. You know, I see intensities. That's really where that letting go is really coming in handy too, is like the intensity of the moment of 
getting to what you really are going to do, you can do it. You know, so if you're trying to get love and you want a healthy relationship, you can do it. Just remember to simple your mind, you know, quiet it down when you're in hermit mode, you know, and just that will help you regain what it is you really need. Okay. Beautiful reading, my friends. Okay. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.